Well, it's a little more than a week before we ring in the new year and MediaCorp is going to be bringing its annual countdown show live to your televisions and digital platforms on New Year's Eve. Now, this year, many of our local music talents will take center stage with collaborations across genres. Iconic landmarks like the Dragon Playground at Torpaio will also be transformed into performance spaces. Now, for more, we're joined by Sebastian Liang, senior executive producer of this year's show, and DJ producer Mern. Gentlemen, welcome. Thanks for joining us uh, here tonight. First off, Sebastian, tell us more about the emphasis on Singapore-made creative talent that's going to be featured in the show. Well, the Countdown Show is not just a platform for our local performers to showcase just their songs. And MediaCorp being a purveyor of local music, we want to foster this collaborative spirit. And this show provides that perfect opportunity to bring together creatives from different backgrounds and with different perspectives. And, you know, we, we let them work, we let them melt their ideas. And you'll be surprised at what they can come up with, for example, like Murn and Nathan Hartono. Um, they come up with a really, really great remix. And, you know, we are, we are pretty excited for them to showcase that on 31st of December. Well, Mern, let's pick up from there what uh, Sebastian just mentioned, this remix of a song that you originally produced for Nathan mm -hmm. Hartono. How different will this joint performance be from the usual sort of stuff that you do with him? Oh, well, Nathan's a great artist and just an amazing vocalist, right? And the stuff that he usually makes just spans stuff from, you know, pop to really slow, um, melancholy beats. So we saw this as a really great opportunity to kind of revamp it and turn it dancier, to turn a really, you know, slow, uh, sad pop song into a nice, you know, upbeat remix. And I think, yeah, I think everyone's in for a treat, really. Sebastian, back to you. There are going to be some familiar landmarks like uh, the Dragon Playground in Torpaio. We've got Jewel Changi also going to be featured during the show. How are you going to feature these places and, and why specifically have you chosen them? Well, um, since the onset of the pandemic, it has changed and it has accelerated innovation in, in the way we produce TV shows uh, globally. So as such, um, it, it also changed the way we conceptualize our year-end countdown show. I mean, we can't have 5,000 people celebrating and counting down the new year with us this year at, a, you know, at Marina Bay, so for obvious reasons. And, and that's why we take our performers to various familiar locations uh, all around Singapore. We bring our cameras, we bring our lights, we bring down the lasers, and we give this locale a completely different visual treatment and also bring the show closer to the heartlands to our viewers. Oh, Mon, uh, let's pick up from what Sebastian said. Now, the pandemic will change how he conceptualizes this year-end show. Now, that's just one event, but I, mm. I am certain that the pandemic has changed everything in what you do, how you work, how you perform your music, how you attract an audience. How has the local music scene adapted yeah. to this pandemic, which is far from over, let's face it? I think everyone's well acquainted with the um, the effects. The past two years have been quite uh, rough for a lot of people, not just musicians, but also anything adjacent to music, you know, stagehands, sound engineers, you know, lighting directors. So it's been quite a rough few years for everybody. Um, what I've definitely noticed among the, you know, the younger folk, um, for example, when I was young and I was trying to make it as a producer, I was, you know, trying to play as many shows as I could. I was trying to, you know, get my music out there, collaborate. But those things aren't really possible in this time. So we've seen a lot of people uh, really go online and find these really cool communities to share, make music, uh, learn. Um, but in, in, the, in the long term, I really think that it's these physical venues that really spur the growth of music. And that's why I hope, you know, really soon we have these returning back to the ferry. Mern, you say when you were young, you seem, you, you know, you look very young still to me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> very briefly before we go, uh, a question for both of you, and, and perhaps, uh, Sebastian, you can, you can kick us off with this one. Your hopes for the new year. Come on, we've only got a few more days left of uh, 2021. What are you hoping for for 2022? Well, I mean, I, I think the past two years have been challenging in, in many ways for most of us, and and yet it propelled us, many of us, to adapt, to learn, to discover, 
And, and many of us are far more resilient than we realize. So my hope for 2022 is for everyone to keep on keeping on, you know, to show love, to show empathy, and to show graciousness to one another. And man. Yeah, I think the same hopeful note. I think gratitude is something I've really been focusing on this year. Um, next year, for New Year's, I really hope everyone has, you know, good health, good fortune. Everyone's close to their family. If you're not close, um, hopefully you're, you know, able to see them really soon. And just, just a whole year of blessings all around. All right. Thank you both. That was Sebastian Liang, senior executive producer of Let's Celebrate 2022 and DJ producer Mern. And you can catch Let's Celebrate 2022 live. It's on MeWatch, Channel 5 and MediaCorp Entertainment on YouTube. When? Well, Friday, the 31st of December, 2021, 11 p.m. Be there.